It's this thing on. Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. I very welcome my friends and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. Ouch. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so kind. No, please stop it. Oh, I'll never get through this video. So, Halle Bailey has been cast in Disney's adaption of Ariel. Halle uh, Bailey, not Berry, let's get this right, Halle Bailey is a woman of colour. So, in a minute, I'm going to be talking about this, but I also want to talk about Elizabeth Banks and her comments. Elizabeth Banks is starring and directing the new Charlie's Angels reboot, and she said this. She said this is for a female audience. This is about women being believed, right? So, to me, that sounds like a very, very empty statement. This is for a female audience. This is for women. Right, guys, don't go and watch Charlie's Angels. It's not for you. I don't think I'm going to miss out on this cheap crap reboot um, just because Elizabeth Banks doesn't want me to go and see this film. But this is what they don't understand because when you live in a bubble and you think you're a feminist and you think you're helping women and you make a crap reboot, right, because that trailer is all we can judge it from, from and it looks terrible, it looks cheap, and it looks crap, and there's actually women laughing about them beating up a man and maybe him being dead. I want you to picture that. And I want you to think about it the other way round. If a bunch of men were laughing about maybe um, attacking a woman, you know, even if she was a villain, there would be an outcry by SJWs, wouldn't there? So there's that. So that's crazy. That film's going to flop. It's going to be hilarious. These people just keep on, you know, kicking themselves in the balls, in the vagina. It's just so funny to see them keep on. They don't know how to represent women. They don't know how to write women. They're not representing real life women. That's the problem. Um, so let's talk about Halle Bailey, a woman of colour who's been cast as Ariel. We all know, unless you're blind, that Ariel, um, Ariel they did an animated movie. Ariel is, is, is a white girl with red hair, right? So basically, they've culturally swapped her. They're doing this a lot. And of course, the few times when there's been kind of accusations of whitewashing. So why, to me, this whitewashing thing is so hypocritical. But what's happening in Hollywood now, what they're doing, they're scrubbing out um, white characters and, you know, culturally swapping them for people of colour. Now, of course, this is a massive problem because in the end, um, people of colour will dominate the industry and, and fantasy stories and it's so to me it's like revenge well white people dominated the industry for 30 or 50 years so it's our turn now that's not representation that's not equality that's that's a call to arms isn't it really and in the end all people are going to do you know what you, you know what none of you should be surprised by this this is what they do it's not about representation it's not about equality it's about outrage culture. They want you to be outraged. They want you to be tweeting about it. In a way, they want you to be racist so they can point the finger at you. Be smarter. Be smarter than that, right? This actor was not cast because she's the best actor for the job. She's been cast because she's a person of colour. They want to make a bold statement. They want to look like they're, they're fighting for equality and representation, but that's not what they're doing because we know that people of colour are very well represented in the entertainment industry and especially in Hollywood now. I'm a Greek Cypriot. When are we going to have a Greek Cypriot Disney princess, right? When are we going to have Greek Cypriot actors represented? We don't matter because we don't have a big mouth and we don't keep on moaning about everything we've been through, right? And our culture's been through a lot. What about a Polish Disney princess? What about a Norwegian one? No, that's never going to happen. So I tell you what, I've decided I want to play Axel Foley. Axel, Fo Axel, Axel Foley is from Beverly Hills Cop, that franchise, three movies, played wonderfully by Eddie Murphy. Well, I've decided, right, um, he's too old to play him now, and I, should, you know, a Greek Cypriot guy, a tanned guy, should play um, Axel Foley, who is obviously African-American, but I've decided I want to play him because Greek Cypriot people are not represented. So you're listening to me, uh, whatever studio owns the rights, uh, uh, are you listening to me, Eddie? I think a Greek Cypriot actor, let's just say me, 
to play Axel Foley. How are you going to react to that? Are you going to be nice about it? Are you going to say, yeah, Mick, Greek Cypriots need representation? No, of course not. You're going to be a little bit racist about it. You're going to start screaming on Twitter about it. And here's the thing. So this casting isn't a shock to me, isn't a surprise to me. It's about watering down content and saying, hey, ain't we cool? We represent, we're about equality. We want more women and people of colour on TV and film. Or even though they're really well represented now. Hey, it's peacetime, isn't it, right? So I've got a better idea, right? How about creating new characters and casting people of colour and people of other cultural backgrounds who have never had a chance before? Why not do that? Why keep on culturally, culturally swapping people? Why? Because it's a bold statement and it goes with the marketing. That's why they do it. You've got to be clever. You've got to understand what they're doing. And as I say, they want you to be shouting on Twitter. They want to accuse you of being a racist. Be clever. Be smarter. I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what to do. If you're not happy about this, don't go and watch the movie. If you're not happy about how crap Charlie's Angels looks and Elizabeth Banks comments, right? Don't go and watch the movie. That's the only thing they understand. The wallet. The wallet. That's all they care about. Hit them in the wallet. Don't talk about it. Don't be racist. Don't sound racist because it's not about racism. We know it's not about racism. You can't be screaming about whitewashing and then be very happy, very happy that you're actually swapping you know, uh, white characters and casting people of colour. That's not about racism. I want to see different, you know, nationalities and cultures playing different roles. Roles created, new roles, original roles. But this is about making bold statements, and that's the truth. So what do you think about this? Are you excited that a woman of colour has been cast as Ariel? Are you disappointed? Are you frustrated about it? About it? Please, if they don't take this video down and my channel down, Comment down below. But I'm serious. I want to be the new Axel Foley. I want to be the new Eddie Murphy. Why not? Greg Cypric guy. We don't get cast in Hollywood. Let's make this happen. Hashtag Mick Meaners for the new Axel Foley. Let's do it.